program is loaded with triple jumps. Her first one, the most difficult, a triple Lutz. Nicely done. triple at triple Saukau. Nice height and speed out on the landing. And a beautiful triple loop. She's putting together a nice routine. Butyrskaya finished third in the last Soviet championship, so she did not qualify to participate in Albertville at the 92 Olympics. And she really does not come from a great tradition of single skaters in what was the Soviet Union. Well, they've aren't really focused on ice dancing and pair skating. They've only had one medal in the ladies' competition in, in Sarajevo. And, oh, she fought for that triple loop. But again, it's, their focus is on pairs and dance, and the singles really haven't taken off. But if she continues to skate like she's skating now, she could really threaten Jose Schwinard. She's getting some advice right now from the man who is coaching her here, Alexei Mission. When you're in the middle of a routine, sometimes that can be really distracting, especially if it's not your coach. He's just here with the team. It's getting very expensive to send the skaters over. Triple toe loop. She hangs on that. Whatever he said to her, it obviously worked. <laughs> From Moscow to Victoria, British Columbia, 20-year-old Maria Butirskaya. And I would guess she is quite pleased with the results of her conversation with Alexei Mission and her performance. Well, she fought for this program. You can see this triple loop goes up, comes down a little bit forward. No problem. She has to do it in combination, so she steps forward and does a little double toe loop there. But she fought for that program, and it's a very difficult one. And there is the moment when she was getting words of advice from Alexei Mission, turned, came back out, and landed a triple. Now the marks for technical merit for Maria Butirskaya. And these aren't too bad. She's in second after the, the technical program. Five sixes are pretty strong. She had a great routine. Jose Schwinard and Tanya harding Gululi are going to have to skate very well to beat her technically. Next up to marks for artistic impression. Marks for artistic impression. Five, three, five, six, five, six, five, five. 
and they're about the same. She's a pretty skater. The program really wasn't that devastating. It was just kind of sleepy, but she delivered the goods, and she has a nice carriage and a presentation. Good job. Tanya Harding Gilluli is yet to skate. So also is the young woman who is currently in the lead, Jose Schwinnard of Canada, after this message from your local station. Scott Hamilton and Tracy Wilson for Skate Canada 92. And on the ice right now, the current leader in the ladies, Jose Schwinnard, the 23-year-old from Rosemont, Quebec. And when she is on, she can just light up a building. Brand new program. She's had a lot of back problems in the past, which has affected her consistency. But this program is constructed a little bit differently than the ones in the past. She opens up pretty simply, and then the program gets much more difficult as it goes on. Jose Schwinnard was superb in the technical program. And she's such an attractive young woman that uh, the crowd responds in kind. Not only beautiful, but a good athlete as well. Nice combination of moves here and struggles a little bit with the landing on that double salco. Sometimes when you're a little nervous or when you're trying to make things happen, you get a little shallow in your knee and you don't feel the ice like you should. So landings can get a little tight, jumps can get a little smaller, and that's been a problem of Jose's in the past. She didn't have any of those problems in the original program. Nice, double toe loop, or triple toe loop into double toe loop. Well, thus far, 1992 has been a year of contrast for Jose Schwinnard. She had what for her was a disastrous appearance in Alberville. 15th after the original program, she did uh, elevate her standing to 9th at the conclusion of the Olympics. But then she came back strong in the Worlds a month later and finished 5th. Triple loop here. And there's no way she can... It looks like she spun her left side early and tilt it outside, and there's no way you can hang on to that landing. Very costly error. Now, keep in mind that Maria Butirskaya, the young woman from Moscow, has already skated and skated quite well. jump a triple sow cow and can't quite hold on to the landing there either the problem with a program that gets more difficult as it gets later into the program is that you're tired and your legs don't react as quickly as they should and her next triple is her hardest triple triple lutz and there's no she didn't even complete the rotation very disappointing in your home country to come out at the beginning of an international season very disappointing performance Her shoulders coming up. She's shallower in her knee. The spin will give her an opportunity to rest a little bit. And another triple toe and a very painful fall. Well, that must be terribly disappointing for Jose Schwinnard, heavily favored after the technical program. 
and immense problems toward the latter stages of her free skate. Well, you've got to question the design of the routine. You know, she's had problems in the past opening big, so she opened a little bit simpler this time. She worked her way up to this beautiful triple toe loop here. You can see the height, the air position's great, reaching right back into an easy double toe loop. Beautiful opening combination, but the later you get into your program, the more tired you are. And watch her left shoulder there spins out away from her. She tilts the jump, and there's no way you can, you can save a jump that's tilted that direction. And the last triple toe loop, and this is so painful. When you catch this edge here and land on the outside of your knee like that, the ice is like cement. It hurts really bad. Again, a very disappointing performance. And the marks for technical merit for Jose Chouinard. And these aren't too bad. When you think about it, the triple toe loop was really the only real clean jump that she landed in the triple category, and, and five fours are pretty generous. On the ice, Tanya Harding, who is yet to skate, in the meantime, one more set of marks for Zer Jose Schwinard. These for artistic impression. And the program really is a nice program. It brings the crowd onto the ice with her and a lot of hand clapping, and, and she's a beautiful skater. Good, good artistic direction in the program, but technically it needs some work. And that drops Jose Schwinard behind Maria Butirskaya. And next up, Tanya Harding Gilluli who did not skate all that well on the technical program. She is fifth coming into the free skate. Tanya's conditioning is a sharp contrast to last year's Skate America competition where I've never seen her in better shape. She's carrying a lot more weight now, which changes the timing on all of your jumps. And it really affects your conditioning as well. Opening jump, a triple sow cow. Big, beautiful. And she couldn't quite hit the double toe loop on the exit of that triple sow. But the triple sow itself was really big. Next, a triple lutz. And she turns it into a double. Galuli skating to the music of Robin Hood. It was in 1991 when she won the U.S. National Championship. She became only the second woman to ever land a triple axel in competition. That's normally where it would be, but it was a double axel today. Why has she taken that out of the repertoire? I'm not really sure. You can see her weight has changed so much, and when your weight changes that drastically, it affects your your balance, your flow, and your rotation. The bigger you are, the harder it is to rotate. And a triple axle, you've got to turn some serious rotation in a hurry. And she probably just can't do that right now. Yolili is also an asthmatic, and stamina becomes a problem for her at times in the free skate. Well, this time of year, stamina is always a problem. It's very early in the season, and as much as these competitions are very important, you can't take them too seriously. The World Championships is what everybody's shooting for. triple jump is the one she missed in her technical program a triple loop a little short on the rotation but she landed it very nicely in her attempt to emphasize the artistic do you think Scott she's going in the wrong direction definitely not I think she's going in a great direction her programs in the past have always been kind of scattered she'd open with something like 2001 and then go into wild thing and, and they were nice and they were they were great for what they were at the time but now her programs are much more cohesive. The program uh, that she did the other night in the technical program was a big improvement for her, and this long program, I think, is the best one she's ever had. Triple flip, and she doubled it. 
driving strength is definitely her technical ability. She's improving her artistry, but she has to nail the triple jumps in order to be the Tanya Harding Gilluli that will or can win a world championship. Tanya Harding Galuli, and she does not seem displeased. Well, technically, it was not her best effort. She landed a triple sow cow, and she couldn't quite complete the combination on that. And then she did the triple loop. But normally, her programs are just full of triple jumps. Another look at the triple sow cow. Look at the height she gets on this jump. It's enormous. And then she reaches back a little over rotated maybe on that jump, and she couldn't do the double toe loop. And the marks for technical merit. Well, 5-5 five, five from the U.S. judge, 5-1 from Japan. You can see the disparity there. She really did two triple jumps, and the 5-1s, five 5-2s five are probably a little more accurate. She wasn't on the same level as Butterskaya. Now the marks for artistic impression. And these go up, and normally with Tanya's programs, this mark will go down. From the Japan judge, it did go down, but I think she's much stronger artistically than she's been, and if she can get the jumps back, she'll have a great year. For the moment, that puts Tanya harding Gilluli in third place. Maria Butirskaya is still in first. One skater yet to compete. Final competitor in Skate Canada, 17-year-old Alice Sue Clays, third after the technical program. So if she wins the free skate, she can win the championship. Though she skates for Belgium, she was born in Atlanta, Georgia, and resides in Burnsville, Minnesota. Alice Sue will skate to the music of Carmen, and just by way of clarification, eligible to skate for Belgium because her grandfather was from that country. Opening move here, a triple toe loop, into a double toe loop, nicely done. a triple loop and the last triple in this opening segment a triple sow cow a little two footed but she she fought for it and pulled it off the strength of this program is in its balance. So some nice jumps in the beginning, like that double axle there. And then delivers the choreography and some beautiful spins. Alice Sue Clays was the 1990 United States junior champion. She felt there was a log jam among her competitors in America, so she opted to skate for Belgium. She did not compete in the Olympic Games in Albertville, but she did finish seventh in the world in the competition held in Oakland last March. And if you want to feel somewhat insignificant, she is 17 and a senior at the University of Minnesota, where she is majoring in French and Italian and carries a 3.6 grade point average. Other than that, she hasn't packed much into a 17-year-old life.
nice to see a program that's choreographed from start to finish, one theme, one style of music. And the cleanliness technically so far has been just fantastic. Her last triple here is a triple toe loop. A little short on the landing, held it for a few feet, but just couldn't stand up. All in all, though, the, the three triples she did in the beginning of her program should help her a great deal. And they should pull her over, Jose Schwinard. At least in the second place. But Burgess Sky is going to be tough to beat. Alice Sue Clays will check her marks when we return to Skate Canada after this message. for Alice Sue Clay's first those for technical merit. And these aren't too bad, the five fours there and a five five from Canada. The triple toe loop at the end of her program I think really cost her. The program was beautifully delivered, it was balanced. The triples in the beginning of the program really set her up nicely. The fall I think really cost her. And the second set of marks, those for artistic impression. And these do go up. It was a beautiful program. It started in the beginning and it ended at the end just like it's supposed to, but it was one line all the way through. Those marks are enough to elevate Alice Sue Clays into second place. We go back and take a look. Here's another look at her triple salka. Now watch her feet on the way down from the jump. She's a little short of the rotation, but she fought it off nicely, saved the jump. Here's the triple toe at the end, and she just didn't have the same amount of strength to be able to fight off the lack of rotation. Couldn't hang on, and that was a costly fall. Here's a comparison of the ordinals, which are the judges' rankings of the respective skaters. Eight of the nine judges rated Butirskaya first. Alice Suclays had rankings from one to four. So Maria Butirskaya is our winner. Alice Suclays is second. Jose Schwinard is third. Our champion is with Tracy Wilson. Mara, you're obviously very excited. Can you tell us how you're feeling right now? Uh, she's feeling very well now because it it, it, uh, it, um, it was um, the first um, success, so big competition. Great way to start off your season at the Kalasna. Спасибо. <laughs>